Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new demo. Today we have a brand new black line chest. We're getting back into doing these every time there's a new chest. This week we have the fire starter chest, uh, which our guaranteed item this time around is the black line mastery coffer, which gives us some mastery experience for any of the expansions, which is kind of handy. I might use that. I don't know if it's worth it to sell it though. Uh, oh, I can actually master up at the moment. Sweet. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I'll use the Canton ones I get or just sell it for gold. Uh, we have the orchestral weapons in the chest as well as the new Candlewick Spirit Jade Bot skin. Which hopefully we'll be able to see later on. And we also have the Jade Tech Jetpack from last chest still in there as well which we have not gotten yet we have the endless ocean weapons as well as glyph of reaping glyph of timekeeper we have iron ore omnom berry ghost pepper elderwood and of course our endless contracts down the bottom but let's see what we get out of this uh, we have 25 keys to open do have five more saved up if i need more keys but here we go. What are we going to get? A ticket scrap, not the worst. A flame die kit, not too bad. Another flame die kit, that's not what I want. <laughs> revive orb. Oh, we got free revive orbs today, don't we? We do indeed. Well, we're getting more anyway. I presume I can choose which ones I want out of these. Where are these boxes going? I presume I can just choose whichever... Oh, nice! Got the Jade Tech out of that one. Very nice. Do kind of want the new Candle uh, Jade Bot, though. That looks pretty nice. Quite a reward. 13 keys left. I might have to take out some more keys. See how we get on with them. Not looking ideal. Another commemorative coin. Upgrade Extractor. At least we are getting some wardrobe unlocks, which are kind of nice. Oh, ah, The Orchestral Axe, still not too bad. We're 10 gold at the moment. It probably will drop in price before going back up very slowly, but it's quite nice. Seven more keys. Oh, we got the Orchestral Pistol as well. Same deal, around 10 gold, and it's probably going to drop a little bit more. Also quite nice. But can we get the new J-Bot? We have five keys left. Can we do it? It's not looking likely. We only have two more keys. Can we do it? Quite a reward. Ah. Where are my keys? Where are my keys? Need to clear out my inventories. There we go. Let's do another three. And then a gold key. Or we just do all five? Let's try a gold key. I'll be on my way. Ugh. Got a ghost pepper harvesting node. Damn it. How's that? Yeah, it's 50 gold. That's all we want, though. We've got two more keys to try and get this new J bot. Quite a reward. Ah! No! Right, well, unfortunately, that is it, so we will not get to see. The new J bot. Uh, that is annoying. I mean, it's just going to be replacing similar to the one we have already. Like, things like that there. But I just think it would look way better than the one I have now. And I do kind of want it. So I'm going to start farming more keys, I guess. Uh, and hopefully getting My it. Energy Not on Nalt. That would be an. Oh, it'd be so annoying if we got it on a different character. Or a different account. Anyway, let's do the loot. Start off with the dyes as per usual. We actually had a good amount of dyes this time around. So we got the midnight purple dye. Which is only a couple of silver. 
The midnight red die, which is probably also a couple of silver. Yeah. We got the white die. Which is worth 40 silver. It's not too bad. The starry night die, 784. Winter ice, which you don't actually have yet. Which is worth 4 silver. And the tarnished silver. Which is worth 7. Not too bad. We have honey die. 81 copper. Wrath. 80 copper. Evergreen. Also 80 copper. Dusk die. Gonna be a silver there. Nice. Flush die. 455. And also steel die, which I had in the find, even though it was masterwork, is 96 copper. With the natural die, which I have not opened yet. It's only 15 copper. That would be annoying if I got it from an unlock, wouldn't it? <laughs> Mahogany die, it's 8 copper. Fog die, 31 copper. Sprout die, 9 copper. Citrus die, 10 copper. The summer sky die, 7. Get rid of these transmutation charges. Oh, I wanted to use them, thank you. So the heavy, Quite a reward. we get these. Let's go for the two lights. Not too shabby. Uh, we already looked at the skins, so let us do the guaranteed wardrobe unlock, and we have weapon unlock here. Any armor unlock there? I don't see any. Oh, we hit the enameled legacy die, which I missed earlier on. Sorry about that. That's uh, a whopping 11 gold. Nice. Well, already whopping, but a decent, decent amount. So, let's do the wardrobe unlocks first. We got the mini summit wild horn springer. The mini large snowball. How large is a large snowball? Eh. Um, We got the guild cleaver. That's an annoying one. I think that's easy to unlock. We got the Winter's Day Mace. Well, that's not too bad. Could be worse. And we got the Winter's Day Dagger as well. Oh. Interesting. Let's go for weapons. Here we go. We got the Soaring Dagger skin. I'm at 4 of 8 there now. And we got the Gargoyle Shortbow, which are also at 4 of 8. Not too shabby. Oh, is there a new uh, weapon? I did not check yet. Now we're still on the Foxfire. Uh, we also got... Oh, sorry. We got the Black Line Material Bags as well. So that's them there. Get some resin. That's kind of nice. And these... It's just random. So let's see what we get then. Here we go. 30 of them. Out of 30, we got... Uh, 5 Heart of Thorns, 5 Path of Fire, 10 Ice Brood. Six Central Tyria and five End of Dragons, which is probably the only one I'm going to use. And we also have, of course, our commemorative coin, for which we want you, so we can sell. Thank you. Got two gold from that, so that is the chest. Oh, and I'll, of course, the Jade Tech backpack and glider, which is this here. Looks pretty nice, actually. Very nice indeed. That trail effect was from the sword, not from the jetpack. Dies wise. Default is Hyrus Gold, Growth, Sea Breeze, and Energized Jade, which is this here. That's how it looks on the glider. And then Full Shadow Abyss. All of it is dieable. Top left is the outer shell, and that's also on the glider. Top right is the inner sort of energy and pistony bit. Same for the glider. 
bottom left, oh, it's the lower part of the arms, but the inside uh, portion. And the top of those little pistony parts. And then bottom right is just the sort of aura. And that's contrasting layers of blue on the top left, green on the top right, which is up here, purple on the bottom left, and orange on the bottom right. And here we have the brand new Kirin Jackal skin. Really, really nice skin here. I do love the more sort of animally myth inspired ones. The, the hair is a bit. looks a bit better at, at speed, but. it seems quite static. The, the hair on the tail, especially. It's a lovely custom teleport here as well. A little bit of an aura behind the Cairn. Bit of a unique mount up and dismount as well here. Yeah, I think it's a very nice looking mount. I do wish the hair was a bit more fluid. But all in all, it is quite lovely. Let's wait for it to do its idle. Seems to be it. Let's check out the dyes. So the default is tea jeans, peach ice, sunset, and papaya. Here is full shadow abyss, so everything does seem to be dyeable bar the saddle. Having a little bit of a green tinge off everything as well. Top left is going to be the main body, it seems. So all of the scaled portion of the body. Top right seems to be the under layer, so the belly and inside of the legs, as well as the neck there too. Bottom left is the horn as well as the tops of the scales on the leg. Hmm. And on the chin there as well. And then bottom right is going to be the, yes, the hair and the tendrils across the entire body and tail. And here we have a contrasting layer, so we have blue on the top left, green on the top right, purple on the bottom left, and orange on the bottom right. And that's how all the layers kind of blend together across everything. Right, well let's go check this out in the different races of Tyria, and then head back to Quando to wrap up the video. Here we go. Oh, nice, I got more achievements. This is for character, isn't it? I forgot about that. That'd be interesting. Can I even use the mountain here? I think I can. So let's just do it here at the daily spot. Here we are with the Kirin on a Silvari. Ooh, it looks quite nice with the purple and the brown. Do quite enjoy that. Ow! Yeah, I like it. The die channels here are... Well, we mind this. Thank you. I am a finer miner. The dice here on this Kirin are Old Nickel, Robin, Grape Gum, and Pyre. I like Pyre on the hair, actually. It's, it kind of balances nicely. It's not too bright, basically. Right, let's move on to our next character. Here we go. Oh, nice. I got some achievements. Hmm, it might actually help me somewhat. Everyone seems to be on 5 of 4. Uh, here we are, though, on human. Let's get the Kirin going. And find this new merchant. But this is the Kirin. Looks quite nice. Oh, 
Oh, maybe not. Well, never mind then. We'll find someone who is there in Norn or, or Char. I'm sure someone's in a capital city. Or else we can make a reason to go that way. Let's have a look at the dice. So the dice we have on at the moment, we've Old Nickel with Envy on the top, and then Salmon and Pyre down below. I do like the Salmon, it's quite nice. Right, on to our next character, here we go. Right, well, there we have that. 514 as well. Let's hop on to our Kirin. And go find this new vendor. Ooh, I like the white and the red. Very nice. Down here, was he? Decade Armorsmith. Yeah, so we're going to go... Where are we? Oh, we can just go straight then, pretty much. Cool. So here is the Kirin on Norn. Looks pretty nice again. I love the white and red. I do quite like a pure, like very very white and a, a nice dark red does always look good so it does Let's cut through here I think this quite works quite well with Norn the Kirin but let's see who's over here where are we going Is he up or down? Raven, told me. Raven. Thanks. Greetings, hero. Today the world is one day older, which makes it quite old. If you're here to celebrate our time in Tyria, I have just a thing. If you can bring me proof of your deeds, proofs of legends. How are you doing? What can you give me? I can see you've traveled far. It is now midday. So it takes three to get the armor. You can get a tray of decade desserts, a decade enhancement, or a banner. Can you farm these Proof of Legend skins? I know you can get them from getting the character to, to ten years old, but is there any other way to get them bar the achievement? Hmm. Interesting. But there is our merchant. Uh, let's go check out the dyes first, and then check out the Kirin on Char as well. So, here we go. We have white on the top, scarlet as well, so white and scarlet up there. Sincerity and strawberry down below. Really, really nice, this one. I do quite like this, the look of this Kirin. Right, let's head on to Char. I did it again. Oh, ho, 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 that looks great too. Oh, I love this man's skin. It's really good. The only thing I don't like is the hair on it. it really, that's all. That's all I have to say about that. Ah. <sighs> So here we are on Char, and I just... Yeah, this looks really cool as well. You can make it seem more, like, metallic, which is nice, than scaly. With the Shadow Abyss, I assume it is, with the red, it looks really, really nice. Very cool indeed. Let's have a look at the dice. And we have... Tarnished Steel and Shadow Abyss on the top two layers. With Enameled Solitude and Lava down below. Nice. Right, let's... Go back to Quando and wrap up the video. Here we go. Right, there is the Kirin Jackal skin. Uh, I do hope you guys enjoyed the demo and, of course, the new chest as well. Shame about the Jade 
bot skin. We'll see if we can't get another key, maybe tonight's stream, uh, as we're going to be unlocking the proofs of legend for a bit and maybe hop over to Steam and start a new account to see how that goes for a while as well. That should be getting started at around half past nine GMT plus one if you want to tune in but that's it for today you can join the discord if you would like to the link for that is down below make sure you have a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more in the future you can support the channel through membership program or by giving a super thanks down below and that would be amazing you can also check out this week's giveaway to be in with a chance to win the kieran or five black line chess keys for yourself the link for that is in the end screen and that's it for me for today so thank you guys so much for watching i do hope you enjoyed and until next time take care this place is cool. I like it.